I see site 23 on the roster for tomorrow, that us? No, it's O'Brien. Got it. Oh, shit, where was I? We have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at the High Desert Grotto, now designated Site 15. Trampling of grasses and plants at the entrance, and the presence of footprints, see attached photos, indicate the site has been used for some time. Must be nice and cozy in there. According to the motion sensor, planted by Lieutenant O'Brien, Approximately 447 subjects have entered the cave this morning. Recommend sending a follow-up team sometime after 1900 hours to assess the cave's interior and further assess conditions. Note to Dr. Anderson. Your theory about the subjects devolving to a primitive state of nocturnal behavior is seeming more appealing all the time. End report. Not going inside. Can't go right. Don't you hear me? Over He's 400 subjects. And these aren't just your He's regular run-of-the-mill freaks. Right. These are stage three. They're sleeping. Sarah. And I asked if you were going to get me. Didn't say I was. No. Ever woken up a hibernating freak? You must leave the area immediately or we will open fire. Corporal, 
lot of caves out here. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's see all the caves. Yeah, right, like anyone gives a damn. We are okay, authorized okay. to shoot on sight. Leave him. You there? Booze man, come back. Hey, hey, I'm here. Oh, I'm here. Well, the Nero guy, the soldier. What the hell he was? He took Sarah. What, what are you? He had an ID badge. What was the name? Oh, God. O'Brien. Oh, he wouldn't shut up about it. All the way out to Three Finger Jack. Okay, he's alive, Boozer. He's alive. What are you talking about? We were there. The whole camp was wiped out. No, I know that, but I heard... I went into their LZ, and they... Wait, wait, you, you went into their LZ? What the... Just listen to me. I heard them over the radio. They were talking about a man named O'Brien. Hank, don't... Not! Boozer, I'm not. I'm just... Hey, uh... Get some sleep. Take it out. Teak. Look, 
crazy and killing folk like we're out in the shit. What's going on, Cope? A man come in, drugged out of his mind, shot the place up, then he just took off. Then he said his bike's got a red tank on it, and he was wearing some kind of motocross helmet, silver. Okay, if I go now, I might be able to catch up to him. I want him alive, Deke. Alive? Alive. You catch this man, then radio me. You fetch him and hang the bastard right from that lamp. It's time we start showing these drifter sons of bitches that we have law and order in this camp. No offense meant to yourself. I'm taken. I'll find him. Free organ is on the air once again. Oh, jeez. Go. Oh, God damn it. Fuse blown. Oh, here we go. Done. Green lights, green lights are good. Green lights are always good. Power's off. Figures. Singing about it. 
down to that logging camp, clear out those nests. I can see more freaks up here. Boozer, no, no, you're gonna get yourself killed. Uh, you gotta wait till you're whole, brother. Uh, I'm over here anyway, so I'll take care of the mess, okay? That's gonna bring them all down on me. I think we wait till tonight. There'll be fewer freaks inside those nests. <laughs> Take my lungs to hide out. There'll be more of them, but they won't be strong. Squatters, whoa, what you guys looking for, huh? Get out here. I know where there's a camp. No, no, where? Where? I'll go. Peaceful Lake. Mark Copeland. It's safe there. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Don't worry, <laughs> fellas. I'll be back you. later. Yeah, let them know it was Deacon St. John. They know me. Don't stop. Just keep out of sight. Learn something every day. St. John, this is Copeland. I haven't seen Boozer in a few days. He used to do runs for me, is all. I know you ride with him. Tried to radio him, can't seem to reach him. Well, you see him, you tell him to swing by and say hello to Cope. I would much appreciate it. Copeland out. Finally. Okay. 
I got a use for you. Hello. Squatter camp. The sons of bitches have been setting up ambushes around here, yeah? This. this is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. This earth is a gift for us all. To use as we see fit. To provide for ourselves and our families. I'm not saying this. It's the Lord that gave us dominion over it. But that wasn't enough for some men. They wanted more. When our fuel got low, they jacked up the prices so they could consolidate power into their own hands. So, we wanted to build dams for electricity. But their precious runs of salmon were more important than heating our homes. We wanted to cut a few trees to build those homes. But the nests of a few spotted owls were more important than the entire timber industry. Now that the feds have gone to ground, let's just say we've eliminated the middleman. No one can stop us from taking what's rightfully ours. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Thing is, Cope, fuel prices have come down lately. Way down. Only problem is you gotta find it yourself. And last I checked, there were plenty of assholes out here trying to take what's rightfully ours. <laughs> <laughs> 